Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday, the 14th day of November 2011, and Apple has today rolled out iTunes Match, which is something we heard about back with iOS 5. It's a service that pretty much takes our entire music library, matches it to what well, most of our music library is already in the cloud, as in out on servers somewhere and not stored locally. Uh, and then instead of having to physically and locally have each track on each of our devices, as in uh, iPhone, iPod, and iPad, it can actually stream the music over the internet to those devices from the cloud, uh, providing you have the song. So uh, this is my first time with it. I've been using 10.5.1 beta for a long time. I've never even tried to mess with it as, in my opinion, anything that Apple does as a beta is terrible. It's only worth using until it's in the final um, public stage. But uh, to turn it on, it's actually a paid service. It's $25 a year, which is significantly cheaper, as they pointed out months ago, than Amazon's service. And there was another one they compared it to. Uh, but this is the better deal and it's going to work really well with your iOS devices. So to uh, subscribe and turn it on, you need to go into iTunes, go over to the iTunes store, and then over on the right you'll see iTunes Match, and it's got a little new badge to it right now. Uh, it didn't actually show up in my uh, left dock over here until I had already clicked on it uh, from here. So if we click on this, this just asks us if we want it, so I'm going to go ahead and click subscribe for $25. I will authenticate my Apple ID account, and it's just going to charge that, which is linked up to my um, bank card, so it's just going to access the iTunes store, tell them that I'm a subscriber, and take my money. Well, it thinks about this. It looks like it's being pretty slow. There's probably a crap ton of people doing this right now. It is going to use uh, 256 kilobits DRM free music, and I used to remember what DRM stood for, and realistically, I probably should have looked that up before I made this video. But that's a good thing. 256 kilobits is pretty good quality. There is better, um, but it's definitely good. Um, and it's going to make your music 256K regardless of what it is. If it's 128K coming in, it will become better, theoretically. If it's 512, I, I don't know if it's going to stay 256 or stay, two, or stay 512 uh, or if it goes down to 256. So it looks like it's going to gather some information on our iTunes library. My guess is it's uh, – well, we've got three steps. It's going to gather information. It's probably just going to do some reading and see – I don't know how many songs I have. Um, if we go over to music, down at the bottom, I've got 2,188 items of actual music. Then it's going to match our music with songs in the iTunes store. So it's going to go through every song and see if it can't find the same version of that in the cloud. Most of them, it will probably find that in the cloud. So then it'll just tell it which one I have, and they're going to kind of be uh, whitelisted for me. Uh, some of them may not be in the cloud. I have a lot of salsa music and Spanish guitars and stuff that um, may or may not be found on iTunes. So it may actually have to update some of my, or upload rather, some of my content. So it'll be interesting to see how many, if any, of my songs will need to be uploaded. So we'll just wait for this and I'll check back in a few minutes when this is done. Okay, so probably due to very high traffic, I got an error here, actually code 4100. It says please try again later. So I'm just going to try the whole thing again and I'll let you know what I find out. Well, it looks like it is very capable of repeating itself. So I guess I will come back a little bit later tonight and we'll see what goes down. It's about 6.03 now. I'll come back later and see if we can make any progress. All right, so finally, it looks like that worked. I actually had to update. I was on 10.5.1 beta 2, so I went to apple.com, downloaded 10.5.1 final, and installed that, and uh, it seemed to have worked. So now it's on step two. It's matching the music, so it's taking all 2,101 songs that it thinks I have and comparing it with uh, whatever's in the cloud and figuring out which ones, if any, that it's going to need to upload. So looks like it's done about 825 in three seconds, and now it's stopped, so... We'll see where it goes from here. All right, first things first, apologizing for the weather. You can probably hear the rain and hail hitting my office windows here. It's, we're in Ohio, so we get tons of shit weather every day. Anyhow, uh, back to the iTunes match thing going on here. It found it, I guess it matched a lot of songs, 1,254. And uh, right now it is uploading 888 items. By items, uh, it looks like it's specified album artwork or songs. So... It is uploading uh, all of my stuff now. It's only been a minute. It's already done um, 68 or so. So that's pretty good. I'll just let it sit here. We'll let it update that. I have noticed that we have some, uh, some new icons now. We have little cloud icons next to everything now. So I guess that uh, is indicating whether it's in iCloud, if I have duplicates, or if it's not yet been uploaded. 
So uh, I'll check in again in a little bit after this is done and we'll see where it takes us. All right, if I can direct your attention to the top right corner of the screen, you have a clock icon up there. Most of you Mac users are probably pretty familiar with that. You can probably see it's been a considerable amount of time and iTunes Match is still working to upload my files. Originally there were 888, it got frozen on like 200, so I had to stop and restart, and then it did the next 600, and then it froze again. So now I'm doing the last 191 items. If I go into Activity Monitor, I've uploaded about 1.88 gigabytes uh, so far, and I can't upload on my internet connection faster than about 130k per second. So um, this is going to go another several more hours, and I'm not quite going to wait till the end of that to finish this video, so I'm just going to do it now. Anyways, this is my experience with iTunes Match. If I had a fast upload speed, it would have been a lot better. If we go into uh, one of my uh, playlists here, we can see we now have a cloud uh, thing there. If we right click, we can do iCloud status, which tells us if it's matched, uploaded, or uh, I think the other one is error. If there's a problem, uh, this was not added to iCloud because an error occurred. I don't know why it doesn't tell me what error occurred. So I guess we just won't know. Maybe it doesn't have it and it's not a lot. I, I don't know. It's just an error. But uh, that's what that looks like. Um, it looks like it's going to be a relatively useful service for some people. If we go into our iOS devices, I cannot get another camera right now and do better editing due to the time of day. I apologize for that. But if you go on your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch, go into Settings, then Music or iPod. Uh, I think it's still iPod on the iPod Touch, but Music on the iPad and iPhone. Uh, from settings and then you have to turn on iTunes match you have to click enable and then it's going to be able to stream your library to the device so that's how that works uh, it seems to be pretty simple it uh, today is the first day though so their servers are probably significantly slower as you can see it is just taking forever to upload these tracks so that's the experience iTunes match $25 a year from Apple leave me your experiences and thoughts and comments and rituals down below and I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video Good night.